Counter Attack Podcast with myself, Daps. Guys, keep liking, subscribing, sharing, all of that good stuff. We're back again with a good one. Um, so before I get into who I've actually got on the pod, even though if you're looking at the camera, you can probably see him. Um, everyone's been asking, where were the players gone? How come, how come there's no players? And um, I literally just decided to just not have any players and to focus on just myself for a bit. But we're back now. We've got a good run of players coming on in the next couple of weeks. The first player I, th- I thought I'd give you is some, I don't know, man, some any guy, to be honest. I found, <laughs> I found it in, in the street somewhere <laughs> playing football under the bridge. Yeah, sorry, like <laughs> <laughs> but um, now on, on a real man, we, I got I got um, a Southampton player who's been on loan at Tranmere and Morecambe this season. And I'm, I don't want to butcher your surname. Even though I asked, um, mm-hmm. I asked, is it, no, it's not, is it, Danelle S- Sim- Simu? Yeah, you said it right, yeah, yeah. Simu, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I thought you, I thought you were trying to have me on. <laughs> no, no. I thought I you were trying to, what, what, you, what, you think it's hard to say? No, nah, because when I look at it, I, I always just think Simu. I don't know, Pete, I get that a lot, but I don't think it's that hard. Maybe because it's my name, but. Yeah, I think my I name's mean, quite simple. Isn't Simu, it? cool, but yeah. I'm not going to lie, I just thought it was Simu, and then. George and those of you watching at home, you can't see um, my guy George off camera. What's do you want to big up your your big up your team, bro? Limited. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> limited on, on the guy on, behind on the scenes, stuff. behind and the scenes, man. Behind the scenes, man. It's going to be right there. It's not there. It's not there. <laughs> <laughs> right there. But yeah, um, how you doing, man? I'm good, my bro. Obviously. Just on my off season and that, um, just been just been chilling really, like mm. just enjoying the time off because I've had a busy season. Obviously playing for two clubs and whatnot, but um, yeah, I've just been en- enjoying myself, getting to see my guys. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, my family, I ain't really seen my family all year. Obviously, I've been based up north. Do you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, it's just nice to be down south, man. Like yeah. it's just different. It's different. But, but do you prefer? Because we're going to get into like everything anyway, but. Obviously, a lot of people actually think you're from London, mm. but you're mm. you're actually from Southampton, which is which is which is nuts, man. But um, do you enjoy just like when you come back? Do you spend a lot of time in London, or do you spend it in Southampton? I'd say I spend a lot of time in London, but like as I'm getting older, I spend a lot of time in in Southampton only because I don't know I don't know what it is. Obviously, like I've, I once had a big circle in it. Do you know what I mean? Like. When you're at Chelsea and stuff, like everyone gravitates towards you, you know, you know yeah. what it's like, like everyone, like, and then you be thinking everyone's your friend and whatnot. Mm. But now I just like to stay close to my to my day ones, like my, my real brothers and that. Do you know what I mean? And they're, they're all based in Southampton. Like I've got a nice little tight core cool, which I grew up around. But mm. the maddest thing is, I got loads of friends in London still that I'd still call like my brothers and that. Like mm. because coming through Chelsea. I'd say Chelsea's unique. Like growing up, we were all just like brothers. Like mm. we all did everything together. We lived together. So I've got loads of friends in London and whatnot now. But obviously, with everyone's football journey, everyone's spread out everywhere, really. Mm. But yeah, London's a place where where to be, man. It's interesting because I wasn't even going to get into the whole Chelsea thing yet. I was going to do that later because what I don't want to do is I know that's obviously it's, it's part of your your past and whatever, but. I know a lot of people can probably, you know, fixate on Chelsea, um, you growing up playing in Chelsea, as opposed to what you're actually doing mm. because of this whole <coughs> thing with the Chelsea Academy and Chelsea. It's such a big thing. And, and I'm not a man that pays much attention to Academy football, if I'm being totally honest with mm. you. I mean, I'll know who the main players are or whatever, but I'm not, like, we got people in our group who that's their job. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not me, but I know about Chelsea... Um, I know about Chelsea Academy and and, and the under twenty threes and, and all of that. But growing up in that, do you feel like the pressure or that Chelsea bubble when you're actually in it? Not really, you know. Like I don't know when you when you t- when you take a second to think about it. Like once you're out of it, I'd say a bit, but like you try to not think about it like that. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like it's one of the best teams in the world. Like. For me personally, till this day, I think like academy-wise, when we're talking that like, winning mentality, mm. I 
think it's the best club, like academy, like w- to win, to win competitions and playing big competitions. Like, obviously, I don't know what the dynamics are like now, but obviously, growing growing up through there, like, I just used to win a lot. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So there was always the pressure of winning, and and all these big competitions and that. But I think you just you kind of like just just bounce off it. Do you know mm. what I mean? But do you when you were playing as well, like? Did you ever feel like when when people are coming to play you, that's always their final, because it's it's, it's Chelsea and and the, the sort of players that you had in your teams. Nah, for sure. I think like as as we were younger, like we used to have like little rivalries with like Fulham and stuff, where we like fights and stuff. Like it's like big game in that. But we kind of just believed in ourselves. Like we just believed our source. Mm. Like we like we had the best players about, and then they'd go and buy like players from abroad and all. So like, mm. most of the time we went into games thinking like, yeah, like we're gonna roll you lot over, like mm. no pressure and whatnot. And most of the time that was the case. Obviously, I remember we had a, a rough season where it was like on and off. But growing up, majority of the time it was. We, I don't say we felt pressure, you know. Mm. I think individually you might feel like your own pressure within contracts and mm. like talk when talks like that come around. Or he wants a boot deal. Or, there's mm. there's mate from Nike, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Puma. Um but yeah, I'd say not not really. Not not as you as until you get older maybe. Yeah, okay. So now now that you are a bit older and looking back, did you ever or even put yourself back in that in that time, did you ever feel like no disrespect when I say this, that you were ever going to make it at Chelsea? Because you know there is that thing of mm. they didn't buy you for hundred million. Yeah. They've, got, they've got no need to actually invest time into you. And, and with all the players they've got in their academy, very few actually come through. Did you look at it and be like, do you know what? I'm going to have to go elsewhere. And if that was what you thought, when did that kind of happen? I think, like, growing up, like, because when I joined Chelsea at 13, it seemed so fast. At first, you didn't really think about it, but it's literally just across the road. Like, where are the first team training? like a little pathway mm. and it's across the road and that so you'd think about every now and then but I don't know I don't really till like under 16 or what yeah I don't think I'd like that goal like yeah but then once you start getting on that goal it's like you start seeing players like that you've grown up with making their debuts and that like mm. older players is what I mean and then like from 16 it's like yeah I want to I want to do that mm. do you know what I mean Obviously, coming through Chelsea, one of the hardest things. Like, but I think you got to be realistic with it, innit? So, for me personally, when I left Chelsea, I was offered a deal and for me, I, I want to play football, I want to play men's football and I think it's a tough one because Chelsea's a place where it's hard to let go of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially when you've got the option to stay, it's very hard. hard you have the option to, to let, stay. You have the option to stay. So, it's hard to, no matter what anyone says, it's hard to let go of. Do you know what I mean? You're comfortable and stuff, but it comes to that stage where you actually just want to play. You want to make a career for yourself, mm. wherever that is. And obviously, that that is an ultimate goal, playing Champions League and that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But um, yeah, I'd say it's a, it's, a, it's a hard... You know what it's like. It's a hard club to come through, but it's hard to get that balance of, I want to play here. Yeah. Ooh, I just I want to play football. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So... So obviously, like when you finally did did go, you went back to Southampton. Mm. Was that because people might look at it <coughs> and be like, "You're from Southampton." So how easy was that move to make, or was it a case of they want me and I'm actually from there? So a coincidence, or did you actually like pinpoint and say, "Look, if we can get myself to Southampton, we're gonna do that." Like, how did that even come about? Not even. I think it's a thing where to leave Chelsea initially mm. it was difficult. Like, we had talks for a few months and whatnot. Um, what had to be done, got done and that. And then, um, what happened? I think I remember. So, I knew I was leaving. Mm. And, like, my my agent and my team and that were in contact with a few clubs and, and whatnot. And then, I was just training with, with um, George and George and that. And then, what happened? And then, I was in talks with some clubs. But, like, it was all through my agent and whatnot. And then, I was living back in Southampton. And then to be fair, like 
growing up, I've always gone to Southampton games. Obviously, I've had my football schedule, so I haven't gone religiously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've always gone. I've got, I had loads of friends who played for Southampton. Like, mm. Just being from the area, because I'm well known. Obviously, some of my best uh, friends were at Southampton at the time. That's a, that's a well known, yeah. Come on, bro. You know <laughs> that is. <laughs> 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 no, it is, man. <laughs> but, yeah, so like, I, I was living back home at the time, mm. and it just, it was an option, it was a possibility. And for me, it was a no brainer. As in, you've seen Southampton's track record. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. the players coming through there, the Walcotts, the, the Bales, mm. the Oxes, and you know what I mean? It was mad, but um, for me, it was a no-brainer. I just had to hear what they had to say, and then mm. why not? Do you know what I mean? And because of the way it's happened with, like, the loan moves and whatever, would you say that it's so far worked out how you thought it would work? I'm not saying it hasn't worked out mm. or anything, but would you say that it's worked out how you thought it would, like in regards to when you look at the the plan that you guys had, or would you say that you never thought you'd go alone, but it's it's the way it's happened and it's, you might be actually better off for it, do you reckon? Mm, I've never really thought about it. Like I kind of just take it in my stride. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like <clears throat> Obviously, growing up, I know there's a possibility of learning and whatnot, but going to Southampton especially... I'm not sure because how it happened, obviously, I was integrated with, um, I played a few games with the B team, which is like the 23, so they call it the B team. And then I was training. Is that what that is? Because when I see Brentford B, I'm, it's just that. No, 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 but their thing's a bit different though because they're, they're not in the league, are they? Yeah, I don't think Brent, Yeah, so they're different cat, but like, it's an under 23 team, but they just called, I think it's just them who called it the B team, so I'm telling you know. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, because now they're because because they, they won PL two two, so now they're in PL like the league with Chelsea and whatnot. And in Southampton. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <clears throat> but it's all the same leagues, but mm. some teams call themselves B. I don't know why. What? what but Brentford league. is just different. Yeah, it's different. Like we don't play Brentford or nothing. Oh, okay, because when I see that, um, who signed for that Brentford B team? David Beckham's son. Yeah. David Beckham's son. When I saw that, I was just like, he's playing for that under twenty threes, but it's, it's under. But I think like. They might use it as a reserves thing. Because I know this season, Southampton used it a lot like a reserves mm. reserves thing, like players dropping in and out because they yeah. had a big squad. They had, yeah, they had bare people. So like, every game was like whilst a Whilst I was player. away, I mm. could see like bare players playing it, which I thought was good, like mm. keeps it ticking. Do you know what I mean? Mm. To be fair, I think they played a the friendly versus um, Brentford. Brentford. You know? Yeah. So it'd only be like friendlies and stuff. Mm. <coughs> anyway. Yeah, but, but um, yeah, um, how how it how it's like worked out? Obviously, you've you've gone out on loan, and is that a thing that you know you was maybe against when it happened when they told you? No, nah, not even. I think I was the one who pushed it because it was a oh, thing really? where so I was training the first team, playing games with the B team. Then like I'd been there like three four months, and I started and I finally got onto the bench and stuff. Mm. And then like, I was on the bench and stuff. This was under Ralph Ralph Hassan Hill. Mm. But I never got my opportunity, and I thought like it was the Jan window was coming. I think they had a few injuries and illnesses on and whatnot, and then I was on the bench a few times, and I started getting like some interest from loan teams. Like, mm. but then like I actually started to listen to what they had to say, like what well, was best for me, like oh, okay, what, yeah. what they wanted, what the proposal was, because mm. obviously you, I got the adrenaline rush. I want to play now. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm getting like I'm on the match day squad a few times, but I'm not like getting on. Mm. And obviously, I'm a centre half, so it's different for me to a, a wing or something where they might come on five minutes, do a bit, impact the game. Defenders do not. I, just I mean, injury or tiredness or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. you might just come on for like the last two minutes to see out the game. Yeah, 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 it's still a good experience. But when I had the opportunity to go on loan, my first loan was actually Carl Lowe that time, mm-hmm. and it's different playing ninety minutes to coming on two minutes in the prem. Do you know what I mean? What were your lungs like the first time you? you Got that first night. Well, the first ninety. I mean, my first ninety was tough. I'll be real. Like, I mm. got given the run around. Like, <laughs> it was a different ball game, bro. Like, mm. I went to I went to League Two and like they did not play around down there. Man's game. Like, it's different. Like, mm. people people think it's like oh, it's League Two and whatnot. Mm. Certain man will get eaten alive there, bro. Like, bro, do, do you know like over the years? So if I whichever team I'm I'm playing with, let's say when it comes to pre season and we play like like the pro teams stuff like that they do not like playing against like non-league teams let alone mm. um league two because it's, it's just a different 
there's none of that get the ball down and just play on. Mm. I mean, cert- certain play people you, I've come up against, like it's always going to be that way. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, they they do not. It's a different game. No time so on like, the ball. No, man, no. They, even like when I was at Chelsea, we might play like a non-league team or like a very low, low league team, and them games would be the hardest, bro. Mm. I'm telling you, like, I don't know what it is, like. You just see some awkward movements yeah. you've never seen before, and it's like, I don't know, someone could go to like, we'd be playing on their pitch, and someone could go to that, do like a ball roll or like a step over and like comes off like all fluky and yeah. that, and then Bow just booting it up and it's bouncing awkwardly, yeah. but like they're yeah. used to all this, and it's like, and they come pumped, and it's like, oh, not today, man. Yeah, do you I'm, know what I mean? I remember years ago, so when I was at Bourne Wood, we played against Arsenal one time. Mm-hmm. The way they were like, listen, we're not cutting this grass. Yeah, we're, not we're gonna we're gonna leave it long. We're not, and we were like, all right, cool. And then the <laughs> Arsenal players came, and they were like, you could see on their faces. They yeah, were yeah, like, they were like, what oh. is this, man? Like, <laughs> I remember there was one point where um, Jay Manuel told me someone's like giving the ball into him, and literally, I know you got one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So um, Jay Manuel told come. Someone's fired the ball into him. When I told you, yeah, the ball's like bounce out, such a boom, and he's gone to the bench, just gone. No, no, like that. I can't do. No, no, no. As banter, really. It's not yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. But he was just like, no, I can't. I can't do this. Man. Long day. Yeah, man. But, um, <laughs> I mean, they would always end up winning that because the quality is the quality is there. But they do not like it. So when you come and you say like your first game, you was probably just looking around thinking, what, what is going on? Like, after my, f- I think I remember calling George, my girl George, and like, <laughs> and, like George keeps it real with me, isn't it? But like. Oh, was like, my man and guy, like, it, it was mental, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie, but I came out better for it. Mm. I, 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 I'll be real, like, it's the tough moments which make you, but my first game, mm. like, I was like, nah. I remember I, I went to the manager and that, because I'll be real, I didn't really watch League Two games. They might watch the playoffs and that. Yeah. So I was like, oh, yeah, can you send me a few clips of um, your last couple of games and that? Yeah. Let's see what's like. And their last game must have been Forest Green. So Forest Green played football. So I'm mm. thinking, oh, so you're thinking uh, it's going to be like that. Yeah, like, they can go along here and there. Mm. My first game was Sutton. Bow, 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 bow. Long balls. But it's not like... But the thing is, with League 2 and National League, no, n- not like National League, like non-league, mm. is like, these lot ain't just hoofing it. Like, they're kicking it to target men who yep. know what they're doing. Yep. Like, they're in mm. the team for that reason. Mm-hmm. I can't remember who the strikers were these days. Tool, you, um, this tool guy, but um, bro, like he just knew how to head it, like mm. just pin man, all like. And when you men. got men that have been doing that and in, at them <laughs> levels for their whole career, yeah, mm. bro, like it's it's long trying to trying to get that because it's not like when you're playing, you know, at, at the higher levels where, where you get men that like, running behind or they mm. want to come short. These men are literally just ready to. That's it. Like, that's that's it, man, and. And there's no, another thing. I remember um, I played in that one one charity game, one exhibition game, mm. and Clinton Morrison was playing, and he's retired these times, yeah, isn't yeah. it? I'm thinking I'm gonna just do give him the run around, brother. You don't realize, and Clinton, when you look at him on on TV, you're not gonna, you're not you're not gonna say he's one of the top strikers in the Premier mm. League. Like he's he's a good striker, but you think I can I can I can, uh, brother? The guy pinned me for nine minutes. Yeah, couldn't do it, and I'm not rubbish. Like it's different. Like you, you think you're big, me. you're like, yeah, 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 but it's a different skill, Pin bro. Like, telling you, and I'm like, if that's the level there, imagine what in his prime or in the prime. Yeah, or like it's mental. it's it's mad, it's mad. But yeah, anyway, you you you, you like, say you learned from it, so like I respect it. Like even like, I think it's Bradford this year. They got Andy Cook. I don't know if you see in the playoffs. He's um, I don't know how tall he is. Six foot four. Oh, that yeah, big, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He just signed a three year deal. He's Tall as hell. I find it so funny. Like, like he's a great player, yeah. Like, I find it so funny that, like, when you're in the game, you know some random thing. So you just told me with the guy, the guy's name. Normal people just stop there. You're like, yeah, you know, he, he signed a three year contract. Like, <laughs> <laughs> now you know what it is once once you're locked in, like, I don't know you're just in tune. Like things mm. are just. I don't even know what it is. They're just checking in. Like it's actually mad. Them leagues are mad interesting. A lot mm. going on. Like you see, like the Sheffield Wednesday and all that. Like 
There's a lot going on, League One, League Two. Like, it's interesting leagues, do you know mm. what I mean? Something good to watch. But furthermore, what was I, what was I saying about him is, like, he don't run. Mm. Like, he's not the quickest. He's not, like, the most skillful. Mm. But he knows how to pin. Yeah. He can he can head it, he can pin, he can shoot. like, mm. And, like, what's good about that? Them, them players, like, they know what they're good at. And they yeah. embrace it. Do you know what I mean? They know what they bring to the team. What do you prefer to like defend against? Mm. What do I prefer to defend against? I prefer like so uh, the one who wants it to their feet. Mm. Not 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 like a one who's trying to pin me, but like you know them like active like yeah. runners, like like mm. a proper number, not not a hold up number nine. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I prefer like uh, the man that want to be linking up. And yeah, yeah. I think because you you can actually tackle them, man. I think mine is probably the um, the pin. You prefer to play against the pin? I prefer to play against the pin. As long as... Well, when you're playing, you defender, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as I don't get rolled. Nah, but that's the thing, like... I'm all right. Just go back. With the pinning, there's some man, like... See, with the pinning, sometimes you lose patience, innit? Like, mm. it's a, it's, I think it's an ego it. thing. Like, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Someone's pinning you and you're bigger than them or, mm. or whatnot. You're a man, like... You want to go win it, and then it's a foul. Or sometimes you lose your head. You know what mm. I mean? Or like, bro, it's annoying. I saw people try to do that with <clears throat> my guy. Was like, I can Yeah, a lot of so, people like you, when you watch him live, you see that exactly what you're talking. I mean, I don't know who they were playing one time, but um, I've gone, I've gone up there to see that, and, and he's pinning, 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 pinning. Mm -mm. The other team that had one defender who you could see fancies. <laughs> but Never but Akifemba's not playing on him mm. so now Akifemba's has come to like start playing on, on this guy the guy's like yeah yeah the first couple he's getting yeah, yeah. <laughs> after that the guy just tries to win it now and the bro. role like, bro. That, that's it's peak it's peak bro yeah but those, those things just come with like, like, experience bro as I've always as I've played more games I've understand I've understood that like, if it goes backwards it's calm or whatever mm. but Bro, it's not, it's not that. Like, the only man I've seen, like, it's a bit like Haaland, like, Rudiger against Haaland. That was a mad battle. Love that, though. Like, Rudiger's doing some madness. Bro. Rudiger's on stuff, though. Rudiger's on Rud stuff. Do you know what's so bad about <laughs> Rudiger, yet? Yeah? Like, for years, I've been saying to, like, even, like, when I was at Chelsea, Rudiger's the guy, you know? He's the guy, bro. But a lot of them didn't, well, I'm not, obviously, I'm not going to say you, because within the club so it might be different no, I'd be real people didn't, 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 didn't rate nah, Rudiger like that Rudiger I, I saw Rudiger on a different level too because Rudiger was the nicest guy bro mm. like, when I was training the first team at Chelsea put his arm around me mm. give me advice time me do this do that and he's a centre half I'm a centre half mm. like could be conflict of interest like, obviously you'll get players who are like oh. there's two this day there's players that are like the youngest isn't it yeah, you know yeah, I mean like yeah. you'll come and take my position or trying yeah. to or whatever Rudiger, like, he knew he would do his thing, like, nicest guy, kept it real, humble, like, loved the young lads. Good player, man. But, Good bro, player. like, um, when I saw him doing his thing, he I gets think he's underappreciated. It wasn't until, like, his last year where, like, the fans and really I, took, I took on I didn't to get him. it. I, I honestly didn't understand, like, that. Like, you know what you're getting with him. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And, like, and his seven or eights out of ten. Do you know what it is? <laughs> go, go true, man. No, no, no. Say it, bro. Like, it's basic. If if he if he was like a um an Englishman, mm. if he was Englishman, they'd rate him a, a lot more. You reckon? Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. Because I've seen I've seen much worse defenders than him. Mm. Much worse than English. Nah, really I've seen worse defenders player, get man. get held held up high. And do you get what I'm saying? The thing with football is like. Fans will talk, but people understand football with no football. Like, he's at this Madrid for a reason. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's not no coincidence. I always say that to people. It's you know, not when, no coincidence. When, when, that's why I could never come and call a player rubbish. Like, because especially ones that are playing. Like, don't get me wrong. Over the years, there's, there's times mm. when you see players, you're like... No, but I'll be so real. From the inside, that? I think there's some people who get, like, lucky, need a bit of luck. Mm. But then you get found out. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like you might have one good move and then like everything's going your way and then Yeah. Reality, isn't it? But But where <coughs> what what I will say is um obviously this season you've been on loan. Mm. Two different um two different clubs, two different leagues. Um what was the question I did want to ask you is that obviously you started off at Tranmere. 
Was that supposed to be a season initially, or was that always going to be? Oh yeah, that was a season long loan. Yeah, but then it got cut. <laughs> was that because? Because I I wanted to know because obviously Morecambe higher yeah. were higher division. Was that just because you were doing so well that interest came, or was there something else behind that? If, if you're allowed to to say that. <sighs> That was a sticky one, Chris. <laughs> no, no, I'll be real. Like, I love Trammy. Mm. Like, Trammy was like, I don't know, like, just everything was going well there. Like, the fans took on to me. Like, I loved the fans. The manager was great with me. <clears throat> I was playing with, like, some of my best football. Mm. So, I mean, I was getting that like, back to back man of the matches, game after game. I saw. And then I must have got, what was it? I got a red card mm. against Wimbledon. Like, like madness, like someone just milked something. You know? Yeah, 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 straight red, straight red. Mm. It was a mistake, but straight red. Mm. Something I don't know from. But anyway, I got a red, and then these times it started snowing. So it was a free <laughs> game ban. Like what's that? Three weeks or two weeks? You know, you play Saturday, mm. Tuesday. So game day's coming. Games are getting delayed and delayed, like cancelled, postponed, postponed. Just not playing it. I didn't play for like. Over a month, I think, just because of this red card, and then that like, my season kind of came to like a stall, like a stall. Like Christmas came by, still didn't play, and then I got fit. But I think the team just won the last game, mm. and then um, these times I had um, the club calling me and whatnot, and it was interesting that like, for me to go elsewhere, and um, <clears throat> what happened, and then. I didn't play that game. I came on like at the end, like mm. a defender thing. Came on the midfield. Another game came by. Didn't play that game too, and whatnot. And then I was in a dilemma. And it was a thing where like the club, the club wanted me to make, wanted to see me test myself on League One and make progress. Mm -hmm. And it was an easy decision to take. Like it was kind of I wasn't playing. Do you know what I mean? But I'm not one to just. Jump ship because I'm not playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand? Like, I think that like, the club was like leaning towards me going to League One. Mm -hmm. I had other options in League One too. And just making that, that, that step forward. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Like, obviously, I love my time at Tranmere, but yeah, it was pushed, the decision was pushed towards me. And like, uh, it's a step, it's a, it's a league ahead, and it's just, it was another challenge. Mm. Do you know what I mean? They were in a relegation battle, but. Cause I I did wonder because even when even now when you go back and and look at like the tweets and stuff like that, that you used to get, like they proper like held you up and when I saw I, I just I just assumed that like I said you know it, it and a better team came in no disrespect but nice. a good team come in and whatever and they just went. It's not even that because <clears throat> like some Tranmere fans to this day think I just jumped ship and obviously mm. apologies to them obviously they don't respect me or whatnot. It's never been a that. Because every single time I played for Tranmere, I promise you, bro, man put 110%. Mm. 110%, no joke. Like, I gave everything for that club whenever I played. Like, I love the club. And it's somewhere where, like, I've got no bad words for the club. Yeah. So I wish, I wish it ended better, mm -hmm. personally. But do I have regrets? No, not in a bad way, but because... I don't like to live with regrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to look at everything in a positive and what can I do next? Like, why am I going to sit and cry over a moment? Mm. I learned from from my two loan spells, do you know what I mean? Mm. There's two different battles, but I guess that's football, do you know what I mean? There's always that possibility. Like, it was in my contract, um, possibility to go back to Southampton in January, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's okay, not like cool. so there was always a possibility that you wouldn't yeah, be there anyway. There was always a possibility, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So then obviously Morecambe comes along now. What was it like now, yeah? Because and this is this is this is the thing with, with loan moves, why it's it's good because you get to see <clears> what it's like in different settings. So if maybe if you're challenging, if you're mid table, looking for players or whatever, and then there's the relegation stuff. Mm. I've been in relegation battles, yeah. <laughs> It's not the it's not, it's not the, the one listen. man. It's not the one. How did you find your like first real relegation battle? It was tough, you know. It wasn't really my first one because when I went into Carlisle, mm. 
with the relegate relegation battle when I went in, but we sorted it out quite early. Like, like the Morkham thing. It wasn't as bad as the, yeah. the Morkham thing, like. But we sorted it out quite early. We started mm. going on streaks and like, wins, and mm. we got out of there. Like end of the season, we were comfy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But Morkham, we took it to the last day. That was mad. Yeah. Morkham, we literally all we had to do was win on the last day. <clears throat> then it happened. But and you, you guys form weren't even that bad towards the end of the season. I'm looking at it now. It's the first half of the season, I think. Like, that just killed them. Yeah. Not to talk down on the team or anything, mm. but I don't think... I think, like, they were just unlucky because before I came, they started to pick up results. Yeah. But um, just to talk on, like, a generic field, like, the end of the season form was actually all right. Mm. I think it was a bit too late. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. But then, now, like, in fact, speaking on that, so you've had Carlisle, you've had um, Tranmere, and you've had Morecambe. What would you say is the biggest difference? Because I like to ask this mm. to the young players between not like men's football and like the academy stuff. Now that you've had time to go out and actually play, you know, week in week out, ninety minutes. What would you say is the biggest difference for you? <coughs> the biggest difference. Um, I don't know, there's a lot, you know, like on the pitch, off the pitch. Mm -hmm. Like you're not guaranteed game time. Mm. You can't be just be knocking on the manager's door for fun. Like it's a lot more about results. Where, where I've been to it's a lot more about results. Mm. Obviously we care about the performance and that, but at the end of the day, results do the talking. Do you know what I mean? And men are <coughs> really playing for their mortgages and, mm. and, and, and stuff I'm like mad. that. Like, I remember at Carlisle when my eyes got open, was, we had a meeting us women players and like it was mm. like <clears throat> this is serious you don't want to get relegated to the National League man yeah it's tough to come back from 100% like you see a lot of clubs go down go down go down it's a tough one I'll be mm. real but um we had a meeting and boys were like we don't want that on our CV we all want to stay in the footballing league yeah it's a thing where players don't want to get relegated to the National League man mm. like it's a tough one so me I took on that project like this is my club because mm. you see some fans are like loan players because loan players come and go regardless. Mm. But if I'm going to be here, I'm going to be 100% invested. Otherwise, yeah. there's no point. So it was a thing where like I always play 110%. And then from there on, I thought, I'm going to try my best to do my part. Cause I, was, I played pretty much every game. I was a big part of the team. So um, to, to, to stay up. But it's just a lot more realistic, bro. Like, mm. It's not a joke. Uh, them, them, them relegation, <coughs> them relegation ones. This, I just feel like nothing is getting your way. Mm. Like whatever, it feels like sometimes the things that you're doing in training come it's match. Not it's mad because training was alright when I first went there. The manager who brought me in was Keith Millen, and he was a great guy, mm. great man to man manager. And then obviously he brought me in. I wanted to repay the favor, and then he got sacked after five days, and unfortunately. <laughs> And then, nah, not even that, like, you feel the guilt. No, 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 I know. Yeah, like, you feel the guilt, and it's mad, like, <laughs> obviously, as a team, like, especially when you like managers, but then you're responsible for people's jobs then. Like, exactly. It's not just I'm here academy having fun, like, mm. you're responsible for the manager's job. Like, okay. even if you go down, like, they'll cut staff and that, do you know what I mean? Like, mm. people won't be getting paid and, and that. This ain't, like, Tottenham cutting Mourinho, he's getting a 60 mil payoff mm, or whatever. That's what I'm like saying. Like he's getting 60 mil payoff. Like he can't he'll have to work for a couple of years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But. Oh, Football, man. And, and it's mad because these are the sides that, that people don't see. So even like, <coughs> people might just look at you and think, professional footballer, everything is, is good. You know, loan move, but you're going to go back to, to Southampton or like everything is just, <coughs> is just comfy. So what would you say to like, people who, who think like life is just comfy because you're a professional footballer. So maybe even like Tranmere fans who thought you just maybe like just cut out and just left them, didn't even care about it. And nah, bro, like life as a football player is not easy. Mm. I'll tell you that for free. I love it. It comes with a lot of positives, but people don't see the negatives and that. Mm. A lot of the time, the negatives, you're by yourself. Like, yeah. I spent the last year pretty much living by myself mm. I had family come visit me here and there and friends and that but like even like when I was at Tram I loved it I lived by myself I was by myself but like I said with Tram 
even that, like, that was a tough decision. Like, mm. I've got to do these things with repercussions. And I, I know I'm going to get hate mail and all that. People are going to mm. tweet and send me all this. Like, why did you, do you know what I mean? Like, it comes with negatives and positives. Mm. But, um, like I said, I love that trend, man. Like, I'd, I felt like I had, for my footballing career, mm -hmm. I had to, I think it was time, like, Southampton and me thought it was time to test myself at a higher level. Like, I thought I'd done a right. That meant I'd done a year in League Two. Mm. And the goal was to... The goal was to play for Southampton. Do you know what I'm saying? So That's what I'm saying. Closer, but so, and people can't really be mad at Especially, I, I think if people... If you were someone that kind of down tools and whatever, I think it could be a bit... But like you said, you had a good time. You loved it there. Mm. It's not like, you know, from the get-go. You know... There's been loan players who the attitude from the get go is is, yeah, is, is yeah. crap because they know they they're always gonna gonna go back. Always gonna go back. But if you're not doing that, then I f I feel like a lot of people, especially now that you've said that, will, will actually understand that. But it's interesting though. A point I did want to touch on. You even mentioned it right at the beginning that life as a professional football footballer for you people must think it's easy and whatnot. But even in regards to like friendship circles, do you know what I'm saying? Like, how have you? seen or have you managed to like maintain your your friendship circles because even with that you know the wrong circle will just mm. steer you in, in the wrong direction and the right one obviously can actually propel you onto bigger things you know what it is i'd say like i'd say my friendship circles have changed mm. throughout the years if i'm honest but the main core stayed the same yeah so obviously growing up obviously i'm in cobham <clears throat> i'm in cobham but like I'm living in Southampton, but I'm getting the train every day mm. to go. I haven't got time to go out. Like yeah. this is what I mean by the negatives. It's not a negative; it's a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. The flowers come at the end, but then go to parties growing up. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I'm missing out on all that. Like I weren't really involved in too much growing up. Like training Saturday, game Sunday. Mm. Like, that's my weekend going. So I'm not really the boys, but I was loved at school, innit? it? So yeah, <laughs> I was like. I was clever, but like I was just a popular kid in school. Do you know mm. what I mean? But um, so I have a lot of friends from school, and like I'm known in the area. Like Southampton's my city. Like mm. I'm from there. Like people know me. So um, I've always had my core cool friends who I went to school with. Like I grew up with from young. Like mm. all my friends are cool friends in Southampton. I grew up with from young, and that like, they got my back. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So it's a thing where they make sure I never get in trouble. Like they don't. I like them because they don't bring me around the wrong, the wrong things. Mm. You know what I mean? Like they make sure I stay level headed because they're like, you got to do yeah. thing, you got to make it, you mm. got to be the superstar, whatever. Like, which is my goal. But um, even like what, what I was saying, coming through Chelsea, like I've got some brothers from there who like I'll never stop talking to. Like even if we don't speak, they're my guys. Do you still have like? Oh, you just you just said you do. But who would you say from like your 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 days at Chelsea that you might still talk to now or who like you're actually genuinely really cool and it goes beyond football mm. maybe obviously we've got Tina Libramento he's at Southampton now oh, right yeah. back obviously we come through at the same we come together at the same time he's permanent right at Southampton yeah he's on a plan yeah, yeah. so we came at the same time I remember. <laughs> but yeah that's my guy man mm. like, I got he's at Chelsea now I got Tina and Joran he was he won Champions League with them Faustin Andorian, that's my guy. He's still playing football at Chelsea. Um, I'm on the Brazier. Yeah, I mean, even if they're not even yeah. at Chelsea, just, just, yeah. just, 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 just in yeah, I've general. Got, I've got guys everywhere, man. Like, mm. Even just at football, like, I've got, see with football, I've got like, my boys, like, my brothers who I won't talk to for ages, but yeah. you're my guy. Mm. Like, even like, my guy Anthony Alanga at United, like we're both from Cameroon. Like, yeah. When I'm with him, it's always love, man. Like yeah. my United guys, Ted and Mengi, like, do you know what I'm saying? Even like Noni, like, bro, it's just like football is just, you know, you got that circle. Yeah, like, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. it's like the G code. It's, like, it's, it's funny though, because like, obviously I'm, I'm older, so mm. I've got that older circle. Yeah, like, so like, I could go to, where'd I go? Like, like the, the Blacklist Awards, let's say. Mm. All the older ones are there, and it's just like, oh, yo, what's good? What's good? And the and energy's and different. It's, it's, it's like, it's just, it's a mad sort of like brotherhood mm. that you're going to have for like life in it. So, yeah, man. It's, and, I, and I feel like people just don't understand that or, or, or get that. But away from that, what I would, um, what I did want to say to you as well is that, what was it like watching Southampton? 
because your goal was to go back to Southampton this mm. year or next year. And when you see them, I'm going to say this right now. I don't expect you to say this. Do you look at the fact that they got relegated? It's bad for the club. We know that and we're not even going to act like whatever. But the fact that it's now, they're, they're now really and truly a championship team. Have you thought about what that means for like your your game time or your future there? Like, is it more likely that you're going to have a future because it is a championship and it would have been harder maybe if it was a premiership team? You know what? It's, it's a mad one because obviously Southampton's my club. You don't want your your club getting relegated regardless because <clears throat> if anything, there may be positives, but it's always a negative because if I'm going to go and learn from Southampton, that's how much power does my parent club hold, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. where you're like, I'm representing Southampton, but now they're in the championship, so no one wants a relegation. So, you know what, it was, it was a tough one watching because I'm close with a couple of guys in the team and mm. it's a young team and obviously I kept in contact with them. I'm close with some staff, like the kit men and that, and like, obviously it's my city, so people always ask me about Southampton because mm. I lived there. Like Southampton, this are they gonna go down? I'm like, I've always said that I hope they didn't get relegated, but I think it comes to a point where then you got to face reality. What does that mean next for me? And obviously, I believe in trying to make a positive out of every negative situation. And the only thing I can say is like, I wanna, of course, I wanna play. I'm at Southampton because I wanna play. Like, mm. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna push and impress, and hopefully, hopefully this preseason, like my goal is to to impress and be there for the season do you know what I mean like that, that's the goal like I've got a few I've got I think 50 or, or so odd games under my belt now mm. professional games so it's a thing where if I'm honest with myself I have to be challenging do you know what I mean mm. <clears throat> but I just think I need the opportunity to do that and I've got to try and make a positive about a negative situation no, I hear that man and and like the best way to do that obviously <coughs> is to just graft obviously and I see that your season finished what last week was it last week or season finished like three weeks ago, you know. Was it, it's been three weeks already. Something like that. Two right. or three. And but like the Prem obviously finished this weekend. Yeah, that's what I was But then since then, like you're already I see you out with, with George. Like you're already working. Like it's it's amazing how things have changed because you see before you, you see mm. after that final game, mm. man are not kicking a ball until Pre-season, nah, do you know what I'm saying? But you can't, you can't do that anymore, isn't it? Like, so it's, I know some guys who do that, you know. No, I mean, I mean, I, I'm not, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I'm, you can't do that, but I know some guys who still do that. Yeah, after a hard season, I get that some people might need a because people just fly out. Yeah, but yeah. Then I still, I don't know. Now, I, I don't know. I just, I just always see people doing it, like just um, keeping like on top of things. So, like, why do you? Just stay, <clears throat> like keep doing it as opposed to just take the time out. Because you're going to go on holiday at least. No, man. no, for sure you got to okay, fly out, Okay, okay. Well, that's the same. If we're just here with nah, George, bro. just keeping him company. Nah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I think that like, the game's evolving. Like, it's, it's the science, science stuff behind all this mm. and all that. Like, <clears throat> I don't know the ins and outs, but everyone's always working the extra 1%. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I think... As I've been getting, it's always been in my in my genes and my, like, my DNA. Like I love to work. Like people have like be messaging me like, take a break, man. Like, mm. I, I take breaks. Like it's real. Yeah. You gotta take breaks, but it's just I just like to stay ticking. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes I might be working. It's not sharp. Like just yeah, it's just, just something, yeah. something. And it's also I like routine. That's it. I mean that. Like, we're a bit like robots in football, like mm. routine. Like I know that I'm a train here, do this that day instead of staying in bed all day. Mm. Obviously, go on holiday and whatnot. But especially this year, I just want to make sure I come back strong. Like every pre pre season, I pretty much work out. But you just need to make sure you come back strong, man, because that yeah. sets the tone for the year. I think it's I think it's so difficult. Like gone are the days where you show up and you're literally just. Vomiting out your your guts, <laughs> like because, because, have you seen people vomit? Every now and then, but it's normally at the at the training sessions before and so with the personal trainers. Yeah, no, no. I, I remember them days. I used to see man just vomiting and and whatnot. Like I used to train <clears> and I still do. Imagine that. Jamie Lawrence. 
See Jamie, yeah. <laughs> Jamie will make man throw up, yeah. <laughs> and, and the thing is, the, the funny thing is, you see people go to him and they have no idea what they're in for. Mm. No idea. And they're throwing up, face red. Have you seen black man turn red before? <laughs> 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 so, yeah, yeah, but gone are those days, man, because now it's just like you can't, you have to just, just stay on top no, of it. I've seen people go to him, like my guys, and not go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I can understand that. I can understand, especially now, and credit to, you know, respect Jamie, but this new age, I feel like the, the younger gen, they're not ready for for that because mm. you, you have to baby them. And I remember when Jamie said to me one time, he was just like, Daps, these young men, these um, sports scientists, you know, I don't believe in the red zone. <laughs> you know, you don't believe that. I was like, yeah, you can't, you can't uh, say that. To them. Yeah, you can't, you can't say that to them, man. But what would it mean for you to um, to nail down the spot that like, with Southampton and actually <clears throat> push on and become a, a massive part of the team? It's different, bro. Like it's different. That like, I don't even like to talk about it too much because I think actions speak loud on the words. But mm. to put it in the air, like. Obviously, there's nothing better than representing your city. Mm. <clears throat> Even just being a part of Southampton right now, mm. um, having made the squads and that, to me, it's a huge achievement. Like, from where I come from, mm. I come from, I've played in Southampton Sunday League. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I played there till I was 13. The scout lives on my road. Mm. Never got seen. But it's just like, I feel like I represent a lot more. I represent my, my friends. Mm. Like, we all grew up playing football. Yeah. You know what I mean, but I was lucky enough to get the opportunity. So it's a different like. If you didn't play football, what do you reckon you would have done? I always get asked this question, but I don't know because I was clever. Mm. But I don't know because I play football now, but I couldn't see myself like mm. working. So like, it's weird when you're a footballer because people get asked this question that they don't know what to say. Like, mm. I don't know, you know. Like, what do you think I've been doing? George? Right. Football, what, are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know because I'm actually, I'm actually. Don't be reading for that, bro. You find yourself in media. I was, I was gonna say that. We just, well, we just. Actually, yeah, maybe fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, like, I like my fashion, but. But you don't go too wild with the like, nah, like wearing belly I'm, tops and that. I'm like. not on the belly <laughs> tops. So I'm not on the. Huh? Not on the nails, <laughs> yeah. stuff, like, each to that own. That like, man's got nothing against it. Of course, it. of course. Twenty twenty three can do what you want. Of course, so I, I've got listen, I just know it, my, my my thing. My thing is just simple and and. Nah, and the, you know what it is the man them with G check me over that. <laughs> like, my boys, I can't even take it too far. Like I can't go Hollywood on my boys or whatever that is. Do you know what I mean? I got one friend, yeah, and no matter what he wears, no matter what he does, everyone just knows that oh, that's that's his thing. Mm. Yeah, then. Well, what's his thing? Yeah, like he he'll wear flary trousers. He'll wear like the flares. Huh? I'm on the flares. Nah, G, I can't be doing the flares. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it's like, I've spoken to older heads here. Yeah? They need to adapt. No, <laughs> they need to adapt. They need to let their hair down, man. They need to adapt. Nah, I can't be doing the. They wear flaring adapt. and like like a crop top tig and like I'm still wearing people wearing. Watching people wear skinny jeans, like you need to adapt, like twenty twenty three, bro. <laughs> I can't, I can't do the, the flurry thing. It just reminds me of. What I'd say for me, fashion, yeah, is like knowing who you are. Like mm. you do your thing. Like some people don't even care about what they wear. Mm. But I just like to look good. Like I'm not all for jumping on too many waves, and like obviously you get inspiration and that. But mm. be who you are, isn't it? Like mm. you know. <sighs> Are you able to, outside of football, have, like, much of a, not life, but, you know, a lot of the time, it's like, they, people just want you to just be a footballer and just play football. That's it. And then you get to late, phase. you don't even know what you want to do outside of it. Like, mm. would you say you're at, you've been at a point already where you might have outside interests? You, you don't obviously put them before football, but you might have your outside interests that you maybe want to pursue later on, or is there just... Is it just literally just pure football right now? <coughs> it's like, right now it's pure football, but I've got, I, I like to research things. I'll just be finding the maddest things interesting. Like, I've already thought, I don't think I want to do coaching. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's not for me. Like, I think I'm 
I'm away from my family way too much as it is. Mm. So I'm not for that. I don't want to be moving all the time. But I don't know. I've got little, I've got other interests. Like I'm a normal person. Like I like flipping. Um, what's it called? Like you know when like you see uh, like what I've been watching a lot of is like you know when someone like gets a property like. Dead. Oh, and just they just it. like renovate it. Like not even from like the financial side. Yeah. I like I like projects. Mm. So whether that's in properties or whatever, like mm. I just find it mad 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 interest. Like when I get when I start doing something like Yeah, you're just into it. I'm just into it. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Right. Well, um <laughs> love for coming on. Before we do wrap up though, um we're just gonna have a quick talk on Premier League stuff, right? Um if you had to look at, I do this with everyone, by the way. If you had to name your your team of the season right now in the Premier League, you do watch football. Right? Mm-hmm. No, you don't. Do you matter players that that no, don't no, actually no. watch? Yeah, that's no, not no, actually I watch football. Some people do you not know football? Yeah, yeah. imagine. Yeah, that's, that's right. See, mum's didn't know Patrick Vieira. Yeah, brother. Like, there's, there's people that just. <laughs> They don't watch football, but I hear it. I hear it, but um, but they just happen to be good at it. Um, your team of the season, Premier League team of the season, if you had to pick it from start to finish, goalkeeper to striker, goalkeeper first of all, what four formation you, you going with? Standard 4 3 3, innit? Okay, cool. It ain't that mad how that's standard now. <laughs> what did up. I see? Standard was 4 4 3. I heard three. someone say 4 4 3 the other day. Some girl said 4 4 4 3. Four, three. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Your team of the season, if you had to pick a goalkeeper, who would you go with? Goalkeeper. This season. Goalkeeper. He's been here in everything. Obviously, the year I got. I'll take Nick Pope, you know. <coughs> you know what? I don't understand. I'll take Nick Pope. I, I feel like he's got this PR thing going on. What do you mean? He's been good. Don't get me wrong. He's been good. But but you know what else has been good? To be fair, I've been watching. What's his name? The, the Brighton keeper. But like, I haven't been like still. cooking on, but like, it's the other day, still, I saw his distribution. Yeah, decent, <sighs> decent. But the thing is, Nick Pope here, he's been good, but I don't know if he's been like the best good. Like I've been, I've seen people put him in the team, yeah. of, the, team of the seasons and I'm just like, am I missing something here? <laughs> you know what it is, as a defender, yeah? No, 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 I think as a defender, it's different. Like, I've played in, in games of keepers, like, your keeper's your security. Mm. Like, for people to be voting him and that they must see something and that for the players to be, do you know what I'm saying? For Newcastle stuff this season, like it comes from him. Like, no, no, wrong. It's been a good season. Even to that plot from the back, like the platform, like if your keeper can't do it, like or you think he's a bit shaky. Mm. You mentioned still, you know, I didn't, I clocked the other day or the other week when they said he's age. How old is he? 32. <laughs> no, he's not. Bro, Luke still's 32 years old, bro. I thought, I thought he was 27. I thought he was 27 tops. I thought he just came through. Like, just... <clears throat> I didn't know he was... Um, I mean, like... Bear the f- loans, bear so the football thing can be lonely, like... Especially as a goalkeeper. I could never be a goalkeeper. It's tough. Yeah, man. He's, um... Yeah, he's... he's yeah, they'll 32. play for longer, isn't it? Mm, <clears throat> um, okay, so you got Nick Pope. Right side. Centre-backs. Okay, go, go centre-backs. Centre-backs. I'd put a Kanji... Okay, he's been consistent the whole know, season. I don't know, like he's been good. <clears throat> like he's been playing left back, right mm. back, centre back. Okay, Kanji. Other centre back. Who's been good this year? Um, Ruben. You know what? Ruben Diaz has had a good season. He's just been like quiet. He's been like just oh. consistent. Ruben Diaz, yeah. Mm. He's, he's a madness. He reminds Ruben, me of like, like he's, Carlos he's actually Puyol. a madness. Yes, he's actually a madness, like, just, but no, no. he won't get the plaudits. Yeah, but when you actually look at what he's, like, you're not, no matter who you put next to him, mm. he's, yeah, like Ruben Diaz. I don't know if I'd put him, maybe him, like, title winning team. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Right back. So you're going to Kanji and Diaz? Mm. Okay, cool. Kanji and Diaz. Right back. No, left back. I put Zinchenko. Oh, oh my days. Love that madness. I've never seen a, it reminds me of, just like Cancelo, but left footed, isn't it? Yeah, just dictating play for never seen back. someone, like, Create so much from from the back. I think like he, he tailed off towards the end of the season. But yeah, but it's gonna yeah, happen. But yeah, yeah, yeah I thought, but people were like, I hate him when I thought he done at the end of the season. But 
he he was majority of like the reason why they had a good start to the season. I don't, I'm not one of them you know men that's like that that will hate on him. I understand form. I understand that you know it might just be a step too far. Players burn. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Because you also have to look at it. This is probably his first season playing week in week out every single mm. like yeah. But he's he's mad. He's mad. I call him the U- Ukrainian Kimmich. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna, that's, that's my guy right there. That's my guy. But yeah, going yeah, right back, you know. <coughs> probably Trippier. Awesome. Sounds sound generic, but people are hating on his thing, innit? Mm. Come no, back, come back to the UK from Atletico. I can't hate on Trippier. People think he's just there for vibes. We've been thinking about um, like Trent in centre. Are you liking it? Yeah, like you can't, bro. I watched him yesterday versus Southampton. Like. Mm. He's a joke, man. With the ball, what he can do with the ball. Do you know what it is though? I, I think <clears throat> I think in centre midfield, if you can put him, I've got no problems with his distribution of like ball at his feet, cool. I think you need to put him around other like centre midfield. Like, really, proper centre mids. That would really do dog work. Holding. Like, yeah, that that'll do dog work. What with like a can table like that's two yeah. holders. I think with two eights. Oh no, because them. I just think here yeah, that as much as he's good in that position. He's not been playing that position for years, and when you come up against seasoned centre <coughs> midfielders, yeah, he come up, he come up in centre mid, though, isn't it? Yeah, but brother, yeah, it's but, different. It's yeah, different. It's, it's, it's different when you've got man who are playing this week in, week out. But it's mad because, to his credit, he's been in there for what, two, three weeks. Like he played like three, four, four games, and he does like assists like every game. He's been mad influential for yeah. someone who hasn't played there for so many years. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think they should don't get me wrong, I think he's 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 been alright, but I don't think they should like you know, you know, put their plans to bring in centre midfield on the back burner just because, because, because I Trent, don't know Trent man, but Jurgen Klopp's the man, isn't it? Yeah. So just got, believe got, in got him. I love him. But right. I think I think Trent's a great player though. Proper. Um centre midfielders. Midfielders. <clears throat> I've been seeing a lot of this Rodri and Casemiro debate, you know. Right, who are you going for? Rodri. <laughs> it's, it's not a debate. This is mad, bro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a debate. Depends what you want, isn't it? Casemiro. I'm, I'm going Casemiro too. No, no, no. Wait, are you, wait, are you, wait, are you buzzing Casemiro or what? Huh? But wait, what was that? I'm Casemiro. Yeah, I remember no, Casemiro. No. As a player, like in terms of... Yeah, as a, as look, a player, look. Casemiro is my, is my guy. Oh. This season? No, this season. I, I think Rodri, yeah. I think yeah, but Rodri, Rodri. I don't know, but then like obviously, like I said, he's a yeah. bit like a Diaz because I've heard like he does like nothing off the pitch. Like he's so simple. Like I don't think he's on social media, isn't it, Rodri? Is he? I don't know. Like mm. he goes about his business, but there's no hype to him. But he's so good, bro. I don't know, like them, them two though. Mm. Like you can see Casemiro's class though. Like yeah, the yeah, way yeah, he scores 100%. goals to the CDM, like. He's lifted that team. Like that. He's lifted that team. Like people are writing him down, but mm. bad boy striker, man. No, he's, he's, no, bad he's boy midfield. Oh, my striker. So you're going both of them. Yeah, both of them. Okay, Casemiro, Rodri. Who's the final one? In the, let's go be in the no, Actually, I can't even go both of them. No. Let's go. Let's go, Rodri, man. Okay, we're going. Don't <laughs> no, let me influence you. No, nah, let's go, Rodri. Okay, we're gonna go, Rodri. Now nah, I'm gonna. Yeah, go, Rodri. Go, Rodri. Go, Rodri. <laughs> and the two in front of him. Odegaard and De Bruyne. Come on. That is mad. That's mad, bro. You know, the other week when Odegaard scored his 15th goal and, and they said he scored 15, I was like, no way has this guy got 15. It's mental. Do you know how good that is? <coughs> it's mental. And I don't even know how many assists. How many assists Odegaard got this season? Bro, are you listening to those stats, bro? It's, it's mental. It's stupid. So Odegaard and De Bruyne. You mean what, with his, with his performance? And De Bruyne, obviously, De Bruyne is just... De Bruyne, De Bruyne is just... Soon he's going to be in, I think, one more season, he's going to be in the talks of one of the best players in the Prem, like, ever. I can't believe no, when... He got seven, man. He's got seven assists. Seven assists. Seven assists. Odegaard got seven assists. Like, you know what, I've seen a mad... Goals. 15 goals. That's still stupid. Still good, still good. I've seen a mad start, you know. <clears throat> I think De Bruyne has never won a player of the month award. Is that really? the start? Let us start, George. <coughs> Want to play the month forward? Yeah, I think I see that stat. I don't know if it's real or not. That's mental. 
That's mad. Right, he's a Brother, but De Bruyne, he's like, I, I find it so crazy. And I don't <laughs> know if it's because like, there's like a player in me, but I find it so mad when people, even as a, a pure fan, mm. how people talk mad on De Bruyne's name. Ever. Like, you, you can't. Yeah, you, you actually can't. You like, can't, isn't it? Yeah, he's, that's a top, top player. And, you know, I, I think when he's gone, when he starts playing football, when he leaves Man City, I think people are going to really. People don't appreciate you till yeah, you're gone, yeah, man. They're, they're gonna, there's all these, get your debates, flowers. all these debates that people do and they've tried to put him up against certain players of the past. I don't even entertain them because <laughs> people ain't going to like what I've got to say with, <laughs> with some of their greats. But yeah. De Bruyne, Odegaard, left mid or left wing, whatever. Was it? Rashford, this Martinelli. Who else has been left wing this season? Who else? Who else has been there? There's Rashford, so obviously he's done his thing. <coughs> Martinelli. All right, so left, left <coughs> midfielders. So you you were saying Martinelli, Rashford, and obviously George just thrown in um, thrown in Grealish. And Grealish is actually, he's actually had a really good season, man. <coughs> Grealish has been good, man. Yeah, he's, man. If you watch them, he's been influential. To yeah, 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 100%. 100%. Man, not, the stats are there, but like, people people just look at stats nowadays, isn't it? Yeah. It's, people. it's mad because he played more games than Foden, but Foden gets more goals. Than him. At the same time, you don't have a mic to explain to them. Oh, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait, you just wait, yeah. <laughs> I should have given you that, by the way. But yeah. Um, yeah. Who you, who you got left mid? Probably go for Grealish, you know. Yeah, no, Grealish has been good. Man. Rashford's been sick this year, man. It's just been good as a football fan. It's just been good seeing him like back doing his mm. thing. Like I like him, man. And I, <coughs> I felt like something was happening when I saw him in preseason, and he had all the hair. He didn't bother with no trim, no nothing. Grand just like, yeah, it's just like just and he's 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 out here. Yeah, and I've seen man body defenders now. He's mm. Yeah, you don't, you don't. Has he has he signed new contracts? I thought he was still. Yeah. Mm. All right, cool. Right mid. Go go for my boy Saka, man. Yeah, my star boy. It's gonna be Saka. And He's doing bits for that team, man. Do I even need to ask the? I'm never gonna answer it, man. Do you know what's so crazy? Obviously, you're gonna say I need to say it first. What? Just to show. Say the name. Yeah, yeah. Harlan. Okay, Harlan. Obviously, Harlan gets it, but. It's so mad, yeah, that Kane got 30 goals this yeah, season. I was going to say that. Like, I see that yesterday. I couldn't believe it. 30 goals. He's done that, what, like twice now or something? Bro. It's mental. Playing for this Tottenham team, but it's the only reason why it's not getting spoken about is literally because... It's Harlan, isn't it? Because Harlan's done... Wrong, wrong timing, but... Yeah. Kane's a bad boy striker. Bro. But the thing is, he's still got bare haters. People think I hate on him. <laughs> why? Because I don't call him world class. But I, I just... You're going to call him world class now? No, I don't, I don't you just said the stat. How can you not call him world class? But it's a stat. He's a he's a really good like top top goal scorer. I listen, Kane. So what's he going to get world class? I think I've seen Kane on on the the levels where in like FA Cup finals. I've seen him in Champions League, and he, he doesn't do it. I've seen him in World Cup. So, so who would you say are the world class strikers playing right now? Like top, let's say. I don't think there's many world class strikers. I, I think Haaland and Lewandowski. So you're saying there's two world class strikers in the world, but my world class, like a lot of players who people say well, I don't think are world class. So, so you're not putting Benzema in there? Oh, sugar, yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm Benzema, yeah, that's it. You got to put Kane in there. Why? You got to put Kane in there. You can't just like base off the fact he ain't won a trophy. No, I can base on the fact that he's a top top. But the thing is, here it's either like you're world class or you're rubbish. How about you're just really, really good? Like you're a really, really good striker. Before Haaland came to. Uh, Man City, mm. would you? Were you calling him world class? The Holland, yeah. Nah, you see what I'm saying? Why? But he was he was banging in goals. Nah, but like I wasn't really w- watch, watching him. Like I don't know. Like people got this thing about the Prem. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what I'd think about Haaland, didn't it? I knew he was a monster. Exactly. But it's but like I, I wasn't watching it week to week. Like this, I've been watching it week to week. Like he probably was world class, but I wasn't really watching him. But I've been watching him and the things mm. he's doing, scary. <laughs> Bro, the, the thing about Haaland yeah, is that for someone his size, you expect him to be a certain way when he plays. 
but he can literally do everything. You see mm. how when he gets up and does acrobatics and it's mental. Yeah, no, he's he's he's, he's too good. Of, man. But yeah, no, Kane Kane's not not world class for me. Fam. But I'm already, it's, that's okay. That's not me saying he's rubbish. Each to their own, isn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? He's in my world class bracket, isn't it? Cool. When he comes back, gets it, sprays it. No, he's a madness of a player. But I've, there's been many guys. Have you seen his tech? Like his tech alone. Bro. Like remove the goals, his tech. He's a madness of a player. His but tech, like class. remove the goals, assist, like he's how pivotal he is to that game. Okay. To that, to that team. Okay, cool. He, he can be world class. He's not, he's not. When I see him do it, in when it really, really, when it really, really matters, because any time it really matters, he he doesn't get me. Right, but then I'm you look at okay, him and Benzema. Oh, you, you say are both world class. Mm. There's a clear distinction between Benzema and Kane, though. They're different type of players. No, but there's a clear distinction though. Like you, you're gonna look at. But a different type of player. One of them plays for Real Madrid, who are serial winners, no, no, and and on on every level possible for a serial winner, he makes a difference. What do you mean? Same level, same type of player. Same type of player. Okay, they play nothing alike. Very similar. No, no, no. I, I, ben, I, I, no, I, I, ben, I, I, Benzema pulls similar. off on the wing. He's, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I don't. Maybe the Benzema of old when Bell and Ronaldo, but Benzema always played as the drop in. And yeah, yeah, but not no more. Ronaldo was there. But Benzema's got free free roam. Like he plays in the wing and that. Like if someone said, "Look, pure striker, forget the different type. Who's a better? Who's a better um, player?" Kane or Benzema? Who would you rather have? Who would I rather have? Yeah. Benzema's just won the Ballon d'Or, isn't it? No, because there's a clear distinction. Nah. Kane is not getting Ballon d'Or, bro. <laughs> yeah, because it's based on trophies. Like, there's too many politics. Bro, Kane's no. a bad boy striker. You know in your head, if <coughs> if it's a who who do you prefer, you'd pick Benzema. Because there's a clear distinction and they're, supposed to, and they're both supposed to be world class. It could be like, Come on now. Listen, we're not going to agree on this one, brother. If he if he goes to United or somewhere, mm. bags it up, wins them the, the thingy, I'll be like, okay, maybe. We'll talk next time then, innit? We'll, we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk, talk after time. the summer. Uh, okay, cool. Let's let's do that. We'll but yeah, um, love for coming on. Um, it's been a pleasure. I'm glad that George got this one over the line. <laughs> I didn't think he had that. I was, I was telling him, I didn't think he had that pool, you know. But yeah, no, guys, um, keep liking, subscribing, sharing. I'm going to put all their info in the um, description. My g- fam, it's all right there, bro. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it all in the, in the in the description. And You don't really do many podcasts, do you? Not even, you know, I've done that. I was just interviews and that. Mm, yeah. Well, you're good, man. I can see in the future you could you, you do media. Yeah. I like that. You know what I thought about? <clears throat> but this is like future. I thought about that YouTube channel, like, when I get like, just something showing like different sides of a footballer, like with oh, a man, family you and should. that. No, you, you definitely should, man. But um, yeah, guys, keep like, some, like and subscribe and sharing. Um, let me know. Start putting in the comments again who you want me to get on the pod. And um, yeah, until next time, we're out. Bye.